Okay, in this video we are going to talk about number two from the 2009 Form B AP Calculus A, B, and B, C exams. And it's a problem that involves uh, understanding and interpreting uh, rates of change, I guess. So you're given a derivative. Um, let's see what the problem uh, has to say. So, a uh, storm washed away sand from a beach, causing the edge of the water to get closer to a nearby road. Um, the rate at which the distance between the road and the edge of the water was changing during the storm is modeled by f of t, which is given, it's radical t plus cosine of t minus three meters per hour, t hours after the storm began. The edge of the water was 35 meters from the road when the storm began and the storm lasted five hours. Then you're given the derivative of f of t so that people who have a CAS and people who don't have a CAS, well, there will be no difference. All right, so we're given a lot of stuff here. Uh, first thing that we're given, rate of change of the distance between the road and the water. Um, that was f of t, so that was radical t plus cosine of t minus 3, and that is in meters per hour. Um, we're also told that the uh, distance, uh, that the edge of the water gets closer to the road, um, which is going to be important, right? Um, and that just means that this rate of change is actually negative. Um, okay, so the other thing that we're told distance between the edge and the road at the beginning is uh, 35 meters. And then we are also told that the storm lasts for five hours, which means uh, that the storm ends, if it starts at t equals zero, um, it must end at t equal five hours. So these are all things that we are told. And the first question is, what was the distance between the road and the edge of the water at the end of the storm? So this feels like an accumulation function to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that it's the uh, amount it started at, which was 35, plus the total change, so plus the integral. Um, at the end of the storm, it's been five hours, so it started at zero and it ends at five. And then the rate of change is f of t, and then the variable is t. This is definitely a calculator problem. So here's a screenshot. Um, I defined f of t. I just typed in that accumulation function. Um, and I got approximately 26.495 meters. Um, and so that's the answer to the first one. So just a straight accumulation function. All right, the next part. Using correct units, interpret the value of f prime of four, uh, interpret the value f prime of four equals 1.007 in terms of the distance between the road and the edge of the water. All right, so let's think, we need to interpret this. Well, to start with, I know that f of t was, um, what was f of t? f of t is the rate at which the distance between the road and the edge of the water is changing. So that's annoying, um, but it has units of meters per hour. The reason I say that's annoying is because I'm gonna have to write that down at some point. And we're trying to interpret f prime of four, which is equal to 1.007. Okay, so the units of that are going to be the units of f of t, which are meters per hour, and then per hour because the input is in hours. So it's like the y units are meters per hour and the x units are hours. So we're gonna get units of meters per hour per hour. Okay, so now we need to interpret this. Well, 1.007 is positive, which means that uh, we're gonna say that the thing is increasing. We're gonna say that four has units of hours, so let's just do it. So four hours, and then I'm gonna say that's after the start of the storm, because what does the t equals four represent? It represents uh, four hours after the start of the storm. And then uh, what was changing? So the thing that's changing is f of t, right? Because f prime is the rate of change of f of t. So I'm gonna say, what is f of t? It's the rate of change of the distance between the road and the edge of the water. So uh, you could have just put f of t there. I don't think that's a good idea because it doesn't really interpret things. So I'm gonna just say the name of the function. The rate of change of the distance between the road and the edge of the water is increasing because that is a positive number. And then how's it increasing? So I'm gonna say it's increasing by 1.007 and then give the units meters per hour per hour. Okay, so that's part B, um, and let's take a look at part C. 
So, uh, at what time during the five hours of the storm was the distance between the road and the edge of water, edge of the water, decreasing most rapidly? Okay, so we want to justify our answer. So, f of t is definitely the rate of change, and what we're looking for here is we're looking for the absolute minimum, right? Because we want to know when uh, the the distance was decreasing most rapidly. So, when was f of t the most negative that it would ever be? Um, so we're also given f prime of t. So f prime of t is this. We need to know when that thing equals zero. This is a calculator problem, so here's a screenshot. I just graphed f of t, f prime of t rather, um, and I found the zeros, and I stored those as t1 and t2. There's a bunch of videos on how to do that um, if you search for them on the channel. So I'm gonna say uh, this happens at, this is weird, I'm gonna say it happens at t1 and t2, and then I'm gonna say um, let t1 be 0.661865, so I just write as many decimals as I can, and then t2 is 2.84038. And now I'm going to do uh, the candidate test basically, so I need a table and t and f of t. So I'm going to use the endpoints and the critical points. So I get these, then I'm going to substitute those in. Um, so I just plug those in on the calculator. I'm just realizing I forgot to put a screenshot in of that. Um, so I went to the calculator page and I plugged in 0, t1, t2, and 5. And I got these values. And now I just want to summarize it. So I'm going to say, since f of t is continuous on the interval from 0 to 5, the absolute minimum is going to occur at an endpoint or a critical point. And we already know all of the values. So I'm going to say, therefore, the absolute minimum is that t is approximately 2.840 hours. 0, 2.840 hours. Um, okay, so I think that's all we need for that one. All right, so the next question. After the storm, a machine pumped sand back onto the beach so that the distance between the road and the edge of the water was growing at a rate of g of p meters per day. So growing at a rate of g of p meters per day, um, where p is the number of days since the pumping began. Write an equation involving an integral expression whose solution would give the number of days that the sand must be pumped to restore the original distance between the road and the edge of the water. Okay, so the storm is over and we want to get back to the original distance. So at the end of the storm, um, from part A of this problem, I know that the distance is 26.495. I know from the statement of the problem that the original distance is 35 meters. And then in this part of the problem, I am told that the rate of change of the distance is going to be g of p, right? That's the rate to put sand back. So this is really similar actually to part A, it's just like slightly different. So I want to end up with 35. I'm starting with 26.495, and then I'm going to accumulate stuff, right? So I'm gonna integrate the rate of change. So plus the integral from uh, zero to t, I'm gonna have to explain that, of g of p dp. So in this case, zero is actually when the storm ended, and then t is gonna be the amount of time that you are pumping sand out of here to get back to the original. So I'm just gonna say um, t is the time that sand is pumped during, during, t is the time during which, I don't know, I just wrote t is the time. I didn't even write the, t is time sand is pumped. I think that explains it. Okay, so uh, that's the entirety of the question. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.